some say the agents and brokers is dead. The, the classical agent, he will vanish and also the, the classical insurance broker. First of all, I'm at all in disagreement that the broker or an insurance agent is dead. I really think brokers and agents are not dead. What they have to do is to change their behavior. The sales agent can do what he's there for to communicate. And the machine takes over the bad and ugly part of the business. I think that uh, brokers still have a huge market share, but it will be declining over uh, the next couple of years simply because new people, uh, they don't like having a broker uh, at, at home drinking their wine, but rather look for uh, solutions on their mobile. I would say for a high performance uh, broker or agent, there's no issue at all. But for sure, for those who do not want to move anymore, for those it will become more and more difficult. The question is only for which cases and when do I need advice? And I think that's exactly the point. You have to provide added value to that. So let's focus more on how do we get more simplicity and how do we transact and do business, but more the question from a face face. You're doing the right thing. I give you security. I provide you the best advice which I can. And I think this is really a challenge for our brokers and advisors um, to, let's say, to have less administrative burden in terms of simplicity, but to focus really more on the advice to accompany people. And this is more about selling products. This is about being there in the moment of truth and exactly being there and giving advice. That's what we have to do. Personally, I think they are not that. I mean, there will be a mixture of uh, online research uh, via the consumer and then advice via the broker or the agent. I mean, that's the key for the future. It's important, uh, no matter whether it's an agent or a broker, is uh, that they um, open up themselves into the digital world, look into their different channels, where do they want to play, what's their target group and how to address them, and uh, we as insurance company need to help them. I would talk about a trust crisis. People understand that in the internet uh, advice is not good advice, advice is sold advice. And so they are really looking for people they can trust, where they can kind of evaluate their situation in a dialogue and then have the feeling uh, that they are kept well so that if changes happen, they are not alone. And I think this is the classical situation for brokers. And with this trust crisis, uh, let's say, uh, done by big technology companies, uh, this is a unique chance to fill this gap. Probably 10 years ago, five years ago, as a lawyer or as a, as a sales agent, I had agents, you were in the newspaper saying, ah, oh, let, uh, let me look at your insurance uh, policies, I will make them better, whatever. This is gone, this, this doesn't work anymore. But now uh, you have to be in the internet, you have to be in social media and uh, be there to, to show your community that you are there. You don't, you don't need these old functions like giving advice, because robo-advice will be better soon. Um, and you don't need all these actions like putting the contract, put them in the envelope, send it to the, to the insurance companies. This is all, all nonsense stuff where you don't need uh, these, these profession itself in the future. But what you still need, you know, insurance is, a, is insurance in the first time and I guess many people forgot that in the, in the past. Um, insurance is a, is a feeling, it's an emotion. And uh, you know, there's no computer, no machine which which uh, can huddle you. Yeah, and that's that's what you will need these persons. But they have to change. They have to develop more and more from uh, from an insurance broker who just giving advice and, and, and making making offer stuff. Um, they have to change to relationship managers. They have to connect to the people. The agent and the broker is not that at all. Um, we see that basically the um, connection, the personal connection to the customer remains valid in the digital world, especially for complex products, uh, since the internet gets more and more full of automated solutions. Yeah. And in order to sell these automated solutions, you need people. Yeah. So the insurance agents will eventually become software sellers. There are some lines of business you need a broker to talk together with him about what is the best solution. And, if, and if there are other products, commodities, there you don't need any broker. Because at the end of the day, you have to invite the broker in your home. And the, for a lot of people, it's not a very comfortable situation. Therefore, for easy products, for defined lines of business, do it via the internet. And if you have difficult things, clients has asked as questions, then we need the broker and the agent. Therefore, there's a good future for agents and brokers 
but they have, they have to change their behavior against the client. No, they're, they're not that. Uh, when they change, when they uh, create uh, an approach to the, to the generation Y and Z via social network or something else, they are not that. And, uh, they need a better approach to the online process. I do believe it's not about um, the approach to the customer anymore, it's about how they engage with their clients. It's about um, incorporating all the lifestyles that the clients have and being more within their life cycle than just providing a solution to a risk problem. They have to become, become visible in the internet. That's the main problem, I think, because no agent today is in the smartphone of his customer. Not already, but uh, they have they have to be. In front. Why? Why? If you if a customer does not see his agent or his broker, is uh, not existing, and um, so we have to do a lot that they will. Will become visible, and there are a lot of things to do. Social media, of course, and Google. Uh, we still have a problem with uh, the normal homepage. I think, especially in the finance and insurance industry, it's almost about a, it's all, all, all the things about a promise. And for these promises, you need again the trust, and to, to build this trust you need again the personal conversation and uh, I think that's the real important thing. Again, or still uh, additional to this thing, uh, the, the process has to be uh, good. Uh, so everybody has to reflect and to analyze the process between the broker and the insurance industry, but the pro also the process between uh, the brokers and the clients and also the process within the companies of the brokers. So it's all about process and trust I think and uh, for this for the to getting the trust it's very uh, important to get a personal conversation well there was uh, one interesting finding in the uh, discussion that I followed that people were seeing 50% um, uh, of, of, of the participants in the discussion were saying that uh, physical brokers would uh, be the leading uh, way of, uh, of selling insurance in the future and the other half was saying that it was rather digital uh, means and um, I think this is interesting to see that all the people that were asked uh, were uh, saw future for both of, of those options and um, I think that um, that brokers, physical brokers will, be, will uh, play a role in the future because uh, products are pretty complex and they need to be explained and people rather trust someone that you can ask than, than a machine. They have all a lot of problems with the administration. They have too much paper and uh, too much work and they had no time for, uh, for, for consulting, for uh, take care of the clients. Yeah. So they take care of paperwork and all the things but they have no, no time. Perhaps 20% of the time they have they spent on clients. And it should be right the other way around. 80% with clients and 20% back office. Uh, well, but that's Germany. First of all, what I see is like there must be a change of mindset. A lot of German insurance brokers and also the insurance companies think that this kind of stuff that's happening, you know, online consultation, which is in their eyes not personal enough, which it is, some, in some cases even more personal, um, they need to change their mindset and, and, and accept it. It's working, it's happening, it has happened in other industries before. That's something that's happening in the insurance industry. People don't want to acknowledge this. They, say, they think it's a hype, it's, it's going away in six months and this kind of stuff. So first you need to accept it's happening and then you can choose how to be part of it.